Okay, here we are, end of the year, end of the season. Got a really nice day in November, it's the 60s. Perfect day to clean out the combine. So this is the feeder house where the head attaches. And as we come around, well first I should say, cleaning it out is because all this soybean dust and soybeans for that matter, the few that are in here, are still inside the combine. And mice uh, will essentially overwinter in here and treat this as their grocery store and they chew wires they like to chew wires and as you can see there's well those are hydraulic hoses but an equal number of wires it seems are in here and then the other issue is this dust um, and the residue packs against the paint and then causes the paint to peel and then rust starts to form so I go over this, went over the combine first, it's the leaf blower, I've got the face shield with the mask because the dust gets pretty intense, I've got, uh, then I shop vac it, I wear this old raincoat, these are some of the shields I've taken off the side of the combine, um, I lift the wings up as well, kind of see they fold up. One of these pulleys and belts and niches and cracks needs to be blown off or scraped off. Never mind inside the combine where this is the cleaning shoe back here, the sieve and the chaff are taking off. I don't know if it's going to show up, but so inside here, I want to clean this out as well. There's a little bit right there. Um, I've got the rotor pretty well cleaned. Still need to vacuum it. The rotor is above these concave bars. The rotor spins this way. The crop comes in from the feeder house toward the front, comes through and is spun on the rotor and rubbed against these bars when the grain falls down into here, into these augers. As you can see there's a lot of stuff I gotta vacuum out. And it makes its way toward the back of the combine where it's sifted, threshed, um, and then the seeds make their way all the way up into the hopper. There's a hydraulic motor that comes off the diesel engine. Everything's powered by hydraulic belts. Essentially, it runs from back here, the transmission mechanism. There's the uh, rotor belt, and then the rest of the belts go up toward the front and run uh, those motors. So, just cleaning it out today. Here's how you get up the back. I'm cleaning out some accumulated crud in there. And um, spending, well, all day, I'll spend all day doing this. Then it's ready to park into the shed for the winter. And the next time I'll use this will be mid July to harvest wheat next year. So, down under here is a rock trap. Let me get that cleaned out. This mechanism you tilt into here. Thankfully, I didn't really hit any rocks. I picked a couple up, but... Um, so, it's an amazing piece of equipment, and I want to keep it that way for as long as I own it, which hopefully will be a very long time. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.